Alameda County is taking the lead when it comes to preparing people for the unthinkable, a mass casualty disaster or an active shooter. In Oakland today, a trauma nurse demonstrated how an ordinary person can stop the bleeding when someone has been seriously hurt. ABC 7 News reporter Laura Anthony has the story. So the best way to learn is to just dive right in. With mass casualty incidents fresh on the minds of many, the Alameda Health System is helping to teach people, not just health professionals, techniques to stop the bleeding after someone has been seriously injured or shot. And apply as much pressure and just lean into it with your, all your body. Perfect. They're pretty simple. Erica Peters Blau is a trauma nurse at Oakland's Highland Hospital. The first and foremost thing is just applying direct pressure. So if you see a bleeding injury, you just want to get some gauze, get a t-shirt and apply direct pressure. Um, another one is placing a tourniquet around an injured extremity. The reality is when a bridge collapses, or an active shooter is on the loose, the damage is often inflicted in a matter of seconds. Without the life-saving techniques like these, an injured person could bleed out in a matter of minutes, long before the first responders even arrive. As many as 35% of people who die before they get to a hospital do so because of massive blood loss. Whether they're a single event or mass casualties from a natural disaster or a, a man-made disaster, those techniques of stopping massive hemorrhage will literally save a life. Push it in there as much as possible. And it's a well-trained citizen responder who can make that difference between life and death. In Oakland, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News.